See, in the Western Cape is hosting its Cape Metro Regional Conference this week. The party's biggest region in the province, the Dala Omar region, will have 300 uh, voting delegates to elect new leaders. Newsroom Africa's Atim Tongana is watching this for us. She joins us now live ahead of their opening. And the ANC in the Western Cape, Ati, certainly having a rocky time in history gone by. In what ways are they hoping to turn the tide with this particular conference? In fact, the Secretary General of the African National Congress, Figi Lambalula, who opened the long-awaited Western Cape uh, Conference for the ANC, was imploring the party to act as an official opposition against the Democratic Alliance here in the Western Cape, saying there are many issues which uh, he feels, as the leader of the ANC nationally, that the province could really tackle insofar as bringing to the spotlight some of the issues that they should challenge as the ANC against the Democratic Alliance. This week uh, we, ho we were hosted by the ANC and they were telling us of some of their plans to sort of topple the Democratic Alliance at uh, some of the DA-led coalition municipalities here in the Western Cape. In fact, they are tabling motions of no confidence this week on the 25th of August and this is part of the new leadership's plan, of course, from that long-awaited conference they were able to elect new leaders, including a new spokesperson, Khalid Saeed. Thank you so much for your time. You're no stranger to politics of the ANC in the Western Cape, you're in the provincial legislature. But let's talk about some of the sentiments that were echoed by uh, the SG Figilem Balula about how they need to see you as a stronger official opposition party against the DA here in the Western Cape. Thank you very much, Ati. Uh, most certainly, we agree with the Secretary General Fikile Mbalula and we want to also thank him for the support that he has given us. Uh, most certainly as you would uh, um, have known, the new leadership has already started in that regard. Uh, beyond just the legislature space, uh, Matsikama municipality, Witzenberg municipality, we have tabled motions of no confidence against the DA-led coalitions, anti-poor coalitions, poor governance and we have engaged uh, in a very, very strategic manner with some of our partners who will be supporting us with regards to those motions. Uh, in the Western Cape Legislature as well, you must have seen uh, the kind of issues we've been taking up. Uh, um, now during the week, we raised the issue about the, about the housing delivery crisis in the Western Cape, the Provincial Powers Bill. We've been at it with regards to the, to, to, um, with regards to the crisis around public transport, education, various issues. There's a much greater sense of robustness on the part of the opposition in the, in, in, in the Western Cape. The city of Cape Town we've identified, and the SG in his address identified the city of Cape Town as not where it should be in terms of opposition politics for the ANC. So this particular conference will ensure that we have an elected leadership that can rally behind a program of action to take the DA head on. But let me say, taking the DA head on is not just about gaining political power. We know through political power we can deliver to our people. But the objective here, even through opposition politics, is to ensure that the lives of our people improve, that there's proper oversight taking place and people's lives can improve and service delivery is improved. In the but problem. there's little confidence then from those people who are expecting service delivery. You lost some of the key strongholds in the Western Cape and I won't even just mention in the Cape Metro. But how do you then begin to regain that, conference, uh, that confidence, especially at the back of a disbanded Dala Omar region, which was your biggest and still is your biggest region? No, most certainly. Let me also indicate that some of the work that we have done, even if you look at before the PEC was elected, the Democratic Alliance in the majority of municipalities in the province are governing with coalitions. So that's just to put that on record. But I think the work of the Provincial Executive Committee thus far uh, has begun to instill confidence gradually. The mere fact that we've been able to take in such a short space of time a region that was disbanded, that had its own political issues and challenges, 
we have now able to get them to a point where it's ready to have a conference to elect leadership. Because it's not just a tick box exercise of bureaucratic checks and balances. You go to a conference when you're also politically ready. The necessary political discussions and engagements have taken place. So that should start to signal to the voting public, to our public, that we are getting there. Right. Thank you so much for your time. The uh, new spokesperson of the ANC in the Western Cape, Khalid Said, saying he's confident that, of course, they've met the threshold and that they've dealt with some of the issues that actually led to the Dala Omar region, which is the biggest region uh, for the ANC in the Western Cape, disbanded. But they are confident now that they will elect new leaders that will be able to take the party forward. Yeah, what's that cliche, IT? The proof of the pudding is in the tasting. For now, thanks very much indeed.